The following program contains flash photography. Viewer's discretion is advised. May 29, 2019, Mr. Babajide Olushola Sonwolu and Dr. Obafemi Kadri Hamzat took over the mantle of leadership of Lagos State as the governor and deputy governor, respectively. Sunday, 2nd of June, it's Thanksgiving time for the first and second family of the commercial nerve center of the country and to further commit the onerous task of taking the state to the next level for the next four years. Chapel of Christ Delight, Alausa, was the venue for this noteworthy event. As early as 10 a.m., politicians, APC supporters and clergymen across different denominations were strategically positioned for the arrival of His Excellency. The man of the moment arrives in a black sport utility vehicle decked in all white regalia. The visibly elated governor acknowledged cheers and camaraderie from enthusiastic well wishes. Without wasting much time, the service began in earnest with this processional hymn that ushered the governor into the temple. Prominent on the roll call were the wives of the first and second citizens, Dr. Ibijoke Sonwolu and Dame Remy Hamzat. Children, clergymen, members of the governor's advisory council, the state APC stalwarts, women leaders amongst many others. It was indeed a day filled with dancing, worship, and soul lifting praises. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Message for the day was read by the governor Babajide Sonwolu, taken from Mark 10 37 to 45. To drink and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with. They said to him, We are able. So he said to them, You will indeed drink my cup and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with. But to sit on my right hand and on my left is not mine to give, for it is for those of, for whom it is prepared by my Father. And when the ten heard it, 
they were greatly displeased with the two brothers. But Jesus called them to himself and said, You know that the rules of the Gentiles lord it over them, and those who are great exercise authority over them. Yet it shall not be so among you, but whoever desires to become great among you, let him be your servant. And whoever desires to be first among you, let him be your slave. And the last verse. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for men. Here ends the word of the Lord. Bishop Lagos West Anglican Diocese, Right Reverend Dr. James Olushola Odedeji, delivered the spellbinding sermon. Friends, families, well wishers, let us remember this new governor, his deputy, and all his staff in our prayer. If our brother Olushola succeeds, we have all succeeded. God forbid, otherwise, we are all going to be held responsible. We must support our governor positively. Talk well about him. Don't demarket him. Somebody must be there. I told my priest some time ago, when you see somebody say, hey, please, let them see me, let them see me, it's because your time has not come. When your time comes, they will look for you. There is no reason for jealousy, there is no reason for envy. God's time is the time. The water everyone will drink will not flow past him. Don't put too much pressure on this governor. This man means well. You need to meet him. When it's not crowded, you will see a man that is ready to work for his people. Don't intimidate him. The Yoruba man will tell you, come back to fool me and me, I'll go. I'll be open, I'll be. I show you. Don't pocket him. Don't pocket him. He's too big for your pocket. Don't pollute him. This man is safe. Don't misinform him. He's an intelligent man. He has a doctor as a wife. He has a doc doctor of philosophy as a deputy. He has all that it takes to take us to the next level. He has all it takes to make Lagos better. He has what it takes to put smiles on everybody's face. And to all the mummies, the mother of Jideh Samoru, your excellency man, take care of your husband. Assist him more. You are the only accredited wife we know. <laughs> Nobody will replace you. <laughs> to all of us who are his friends, Ejekaje Olunanowo, Kamaje Olunanowo, you are covered on the old Ronaldo at the old Ronaldo. That is how all of us should be. And at the head of the stadium, we will all be glad to be here. <laughs> <laughs> The governor, for the second time, stepped up to the altar, this time to his knees. He raised the roof in a manner that shook the teeming congregation. God also will not come down. He will also use human beings to also validate 
and confirm whatever he wants to do. So our leader is not here, but I'm sure he's here with us in spirit. So you help me thank and acknowledge Ashiwa Dupal Ahmed and the wife, Senator Uriya Nishinibu, who are not here with us, but are here with us in spirit. We have said it at the inauguration, our government will be a government for all. It will be a government for people that will even criticize us. Because in that criticism, words of wisdom will come out of it. We will be fair, we will be firm, we will also be a blessing to others, like the Bishop has also said. We will continue to ask you that as you search up, that continue to remember us in your prayers. When you say your prayers, in whatever faith, please just commit us to God's hand, that we should not fail, that we should not falter. The glorious service was brought to a resounding end with another high point from the event. The governor and his deputy, flanked by their amiable wives and children, danced through the aisle in style. From us here at Event Diary, we are wishing the governor and his deputy a very successful tenure.